seeing like the next generation of space travel. I will say that times have changed since JFK's days in terms of like NASA and the army of scientists who work for the government. Unfortunately, a lot of that intellectual horsepower has moved to SpaceX and Blue Origin and these private companies. So to me, the federal role has to be to try and fill in the gaps and then support some of the, the private companies that are now, for better or for worse, leading the way. There are some profound benefits from the progress that is being made uh, where if we can, I mean, big picture, and like, I, I will say I differ with Elon and um, others on this, where what their goal in many ways is to say, hey, if we mess up this planet in a ruinous way, like, we need to be able to make it to the next planet. And I'm saying, let's just focus on fixing this planet. <laughs> I mean, like, like, I don't see a way where we're gonna fly us all over like uh, there, so it's like, let's just focus on job one. Um, but I'm a huge proponent of innovation in space travel. I'm friends with some of the pioneers in that space, and there are profound benefits that can redound to us uh, in terms of both technological advances and learning. And very long term, there is even a world where uh, we can actually gain resources from uh, interplanetary bodies uh, and other planets in our solar system and beyond. I mean, like the like people like Elon, they're they're looking way in advance. They have like this extraordinary ability to see deep into the future. I will confess to you all, I'm kind of focused on uh, solving problems in the here and now because my kids aren't going to be alive in, you know, a thousand years. Yeah. <laughs>